everybody, I'm live with Russ, and hello all of Russ's people. <laughs> hello. We've got lots of people here. Uh, oh my gosh, that is a tiny fortress. It is, it is. So tonight we're going to be talking about the justice system. And Russ and I were just having a little chat and were saying neither of us have actually got a fortress where we can show you anything. Uh, I've we've both done lots with the justice system in the past, but um, I mean I've not done anything since uh, since it came out on Steam, and um, I you you haven't got anything, have you, Russ either? No, not not currently at least. So I, like right now, my only fortress has about fifty pop, kind of like this one, I guess. The little, yeah, little, yeah, little yeah. Got here. So they don't need their hammers or their chains or cages just yet. Indeed. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do it live um, and uh, we'll get a prison built. We'll appoint a captain of the guard. We'll get some visitors in. Um, I imagine we'll we'll have some sort of trouble and we'll see what we can interrogate. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. So shall we start with a fortress tour? I'll show yeah, you... show me what you get. Yeah, show you my fortress. Um, so this is a one by one embark. <laughs> Look at the size of that mini map. It's uh, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. It's great because like the you can see the whole thing on the mini map all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and a one by one embark is a bit of a special challenge because the moment um, raided, if you get raided or something like that, they are on top of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's every chance that if you've got a dwarf outside. The dwarf outside might be further away from the fortress, especially if they're out in the corners and you get raided on the side. The enemy could be closer to the fortress than your people are. Uh, so it's, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a challenge. Yeah, you got to react quick. Indeed. So what we're going to do here uh, is, yeah, build a prison. But first of all, so... I've got, uh, there's two ways to get into the fortress. Um, we've got some doors that lead to the entrance down these hatch covers here. And each of these built floors here, they lead to a passage underground. I've got um, an entrance that spirals down the outside because I figured that it's easier to manage the enemy if they have to travel <clears throat> excuse me if they have to travel a fair distance to get into your fortress and yeah a, maze of men yeah on a map like this the only way to give them some distance is to spiral it <laughs> so there's a spiraling ramp that goes down and have you ever played any like tower defense games where you have to like create a little path for the yeah. mobs to run through yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. they become kind of like that indeed so there's no roof on this i mean on my last stream we were focusing on building a bit of a tower and mm -hmm. um i've built up two levels we were starting to do the third level up and something that i discovered is that you can build over branches and leaves which oh I, yeah yeah i didn't know that that's that's completely new to me uh i've i've always chopped down trees before if their leaves were overhanging my walls um yeah so i didn't know we could do that it's only when you get a trunk uh that you can't build across the trunks yeah of course mm. so that's uh we've got here the the butcher and the tanner uh, i usually prefer to have two like one tanner per butcher um sorry two tanners per butcher but i was trying to keep everything very enclosed um with not having any defenses on the surface uh, right yeah now we've got a little bit more of a wall um feeling a bit better about it now so yeah there's um i've got doors to get in um it's amazing just how much having like even just one wall uh i had a dwarf that was stuck out here uh, it was an outpost, our outpost liaison was just hanging around in my um, 
uh, in my refuse stockpile for ages and we got sieged outside and it was before this uh, copper wall went in. I just had this little internal wall and he was outside here and we got raided and he wouldn't come in. <laughs> and it's only, oh, no. it's only a one high uh, wall as well. And the raiders didn't attack him for ages. Uh, really? I, I managed to let him out through the caverns and that attracted him in through the um, into the tunnels. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, getting into the fortress, the hatch covers on the surface go through a U-bend uh, and we've got a whole bunch of cage traps around the outside. Uh, if I go... My favorite defense. <laughs> Uh, and just here you can see a drawbridge, which is how I fill my water system. I've got it raised ah. at the moment. That leads down to my well. I've got it raised because, well, there was um, there's a lot of bodies in the water. And I was trying to prevent oh, the I bodies see. from being washed in. Uh, if we go, and you can see here's my ramps coming down. If we go down another layer. And I've got... Um, uh, a bunch of farms here. And oh, at nice. The, at the moment, uh, I've got all of the drawbridges raised on the uh, the spirals coming down. But we'll... Let's see, we're in spring at the moment. I need to open at least one of these drawbridges for summer so the humans can come down, uh, the human traders can get their caravans down. Um... And here's the uh, the drain pipe that brings the water down. It's going through a U-bend below and then coming back up through this uh, grate here. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, I'm filling this little reservoir and going down another drain pipe uh, to okay. fill the, wells, the well below. So that grate there is stopping any enemies from coming up through the water if I've got my drawbridge open. And these are the levers here that control the um, the bridges on the outside. And you can see there's a big airspace. So I've been carving a tower um, yeah. out of the rock. Because we all like towers. <laughs> and dwarves like underground towers. Indeed. Um, this is my food stockpile. And the uh, again, we've got another U-bend. This is the staircase that leads to the surface. It's going down underground to a U-bend and coming up to through these floor hatches here. So if anything gets um, gets through the floor hatches on the surface or breaks those floor hatches, then I can lock these ones and they can't be broken by enemies below because they can't break things above their head. Of course, um, yeah, yeah. This is my rubbish pit, my rubbish removal pit, with um, atom smasher to like get rid of the the dead bodies that were throwing down there that get littered on the surface. Um, go down. So yeah, got kitchen stills and a fishery here. Go down a bit further, and here I've got a. Um, that's a farmer's guild. They asked for a farmer's guild. And oh, nice, yeah. My dining room, which is, um, uh, I keep adding a little bit to it every so now and then. I think I'll just get them to engrave a little bit more. And I'll add some more tables and chairs to that. Um, and uh, you see this, this area here. This is my weird beast containment area. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, so, I, I've had two weir beasts that have come down these stairs from the surface. Uh, the dogs spot them as they come down because they climb over the walls. Um, so the dogs spot them, and I, uh, I, I lock the hatch covers on the inside of the fortress to stop them from getting in, and mm -hmm. lock the hatch covers on the surface as well. Um, I. So I get them trapped down here, and then as soon as they turn back into their normal form, I remove that little bit of wall there, and uh, and they think they can pass through the doors to get into the fortress. Um, and because they're not in a weird beast form, they can't break the walls. 
uh, right. they can't break they can. the doors. So once they're inside, I, uh, I've i got some cage traps which might catch them as they're coming through. Uh, but mm -hmm. if they get past the cage traps, then I've got a room I can hold them in. Uh, either here or here, but I block off the wall there. Then I can block off the wall here, um, brick them in, and then deal with them in my own time. Uh, Are you hoping to start a little collection? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I've, um, and we've got some spike traps if I need to kill them that way. Cage traps to try and catch them, and then I can um, do with them whatever it is I fancy. Uh, going down a bit further, um, this is my trade depot. So the ramps are spiraling down. Uh, they go way down to the, well, down to a decent level. I can't get mm -hmm. them going all the way down the tower because I'm planning on digging this tower down to the magma. Um, and that would just take the traders too long to get down. Uh, but then yeah. it switches, <clears throat> switches back around at the bottom. And then spirals back up again. So my oh, I see my trade depot. So they're going down and spiraling round, and then switching back at the bottom and spiraling back up again. Right. Yeah, I see it now. Um, this is where I keep my spare dogs, or at least some of my spare dogs. A good place for them, yeah. And then going down again. Um, this was where I kept the where I'm keeping the pigs for the moment. I'm working my way through the pigs uh, because we're we're swapping over from pigs. Our main sort of leather industry and meat industry is going to be lions in future. Uh, I've got a breeding pair of lions, so I thought, well, why are we keeping pigs? <laughs> we might as well have, <laughs> might as well, uh, have lions. Um, and also, uh, I used to have peacocks as my main um my main source of eggs and uh um, meat and leather um mm -hmm. but i picked up a breeding pair of cassowaries off oh the, interesting yeah, off the elves so i've switched over to cassowaries now i do notice that there's a dead pet turkey there uh, we'll deal with that in a moment i need to deal with the the deaths we've just passed the uh, the first day of spring so we've got some um, dead things. Do you have a giant snake also in your like bird pen? Uh, I do have an anaconda, yes. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, cool. Because I know, yeah, he lays eggs as well, or she may. So might as well throw them in all together. Indeed. Wonderful. Yeah. And you never know, we might get another, um, another breeding snake, in which case right. we'll have some snakes for breakfast too. Uh, going down here, uh, here's my hospital, and this is uh, my Weir Beast containment system, which has been put to practice. I've got Ray and T. Uh, they both had um, an accident with a Weir Beast. They were on the surface uh. when the Weir Beast attacked, so they both got bitten. They were both brought to hospital. I locked the doctors out and then walled in behind them. And unfortunately, they they are both infected. So that's where they live now. <laughs> until until I and now your I fortress is immortal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yes, T, you did. You got bitten. Um, but uh, you're you're immortal now. Our fortress is immortal now. It can't fall. Um. This is my soap making industry. We're just making some soap at the moment. And then if we go down a bit further, um, this is a floor of bedrooms and the walls are made out of silver. The floors are made out of copper. Uh, so not everybody's got walls yet. Uh, in fact, let me see if I've got any more silver blocks because we have. I can oh, give I see. Else yeah, the ones. Walls. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are under construction. Yeah, actually, I would be better off doing the walls down here. Kind of got to build backwards towards the stairs. Mm hmm. How are we doing? What dwarves are silver? being spoiled like this? <laughs> 
yeah hey look at that uh, i mean they're being spoiled but only the ones that actually have a room <laughs> most yeah, of the dwarves yeah. are still living in uh, dormitories see you can have some walls Look at this. All the mod cons. Oh, hang on. I'll need them to build that corner piece there. Um, right. I'll get them. Let them build those. That's fine. So, yeah. How many dwarfs have we got? 56. And how many bedrooms have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are a few more on the floor down below. Uh, as you can see, these are all contained. And they, they're entered from the floor below. So this is just a, a floor of corridors where I keep some spare cats. And if I go down, this isn't, this <laughs> will be one day another floor of bedrooms. Uh, so yes, there's another four people down here who have bedrooms as well. Everyone else lives in the in dormitories. Oh, this is the sump to my well. Uh, and you can see the spiraling ramps coming down. I've got some crusher drawbridges um, to help deal with the enemies coming down. Oh, wonderful, yeah. Going down a bit further. Oops. Ah, so this is my graveyard floor. Uh, and I need to... Let's see, we've got a stray cat dead. We've got two pets. Um, my pet cemetery is these ones yeah so those zones there should be set up for pets ah yes there's the that's where the turkey is going that's where the cavey pup's going okay good good uh i need to go and unforbid their bodies they're somewhere around the fortress uh going downstairs yeah just keep on adding a little bit to this uh in fact while we're passing <laughs> That's kind of how I've been building this out is while I'm passing, I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, just tack it on. Yeah, indeed. So while we're here, I'll get them to engrave that part. And we'll build out um, a little bit of flooring. So let's see, the bauxite floor goes to there. And then it comes around to there. I'm just copying the floor that's already in. And then it comes out to there. So as long as I've got enough graves for everybody. Uh, and uh, so whenever any of my people die, I, uh, I put a statue that tells about how they died. So here we have a statue to Aban Granite Jewels. And uh, Aban Granite Jewels is falling. Aban Granite Jewels is dead. <laughs> so that was actually a baby dwarf that fell. Its <laughs> um, it, mother was carrying it, uh, carrying him. And, uh, yeah, he kind of, um, I think somebody channeled the floor underneath the, the mother and they both fell. And unfortunately she fell on, on the baby and the baby Oof. died. Um, yeah. Can you actually go in now into the statues and write them as you would like the symbol of your group and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can okay. have anything. You can do anything you want to there. Oh, that's nice. Uh, just one second. I've got a post I need to delete. We've got a... Uh... Ah, gotcha. Yeah. And I'm not in mod mode. That is amazing. It's a little mausoleum for each and every yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tomb that you get going on here. That's that's an amazing attention to detail. Because if it, you know, as Dwarf Fortresses is, is 
uh, once your fortress fails, you're supposed to send an adventurer to go reclaim all the riches. But if someone who had never played your fortress before came down here, it'd just be a whole wealth of history for everybody. Right, there we go. Sorted that out. Uh, right, and let's have a look at this person here. Asmul Elderweald. Uh, Asmul, Asmul was laboring and then was fighting with a Jabberer. So the oh. Jabberer attacked Asmul while he was busy working. Uh, and then the Jabberer was striking down Asmul. And Asmul was dead. <laughs> That's how he went. Uh, question in chat. Sal, do you know if specified images like that are able to be made into... in make uh, able to make it into dwarf mines? Like, will they reproduce those without me specifying? Um, Man, the... I really wonder how deep it goes. <laughs> yeah, the, the images... So not these, not these statue ones that I've created on the fly, but certainly the when you specify an image that's associated with your fortress, they do. Um, I can't remember the image that's associated with our fortress. I think it was there was um, there was certainly a spiral involved. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, and if we somewhere around here will find engravings uh, of the spiral, like the uh, the image of our fortress, um, they'll produce that image in various places. They we might get images similar to the statue, so we might see somebody create a figurine of. Um, like the the baby and it might be the baby falling um but it wouldn't necessarily be exactly the same as how i've set it up in the uh in the in the image for the statue right but it would be an amazing player yeah. like way to influence <laughs> your dwarves of course they wouldn't remember the the history or like the action that, that it happened but they would definitely remember the statue of that yeah that memory yeah. indeed uh, down here, this is my cloth making industry, and I've got some offices. Um, the offices are kind of sadly lacking some walls. Um, they'll get walls eventually. <laughs> uh, so I just, in fact, what's that? That's a, oh, that's just a standard meeting room. Yeah. Then downstairs again. Um, this is a dog floor. Yep. Um, this is where I keep my dogs and it's a training area. So I keep the male dogs down here and uh, and train them up for war dogs. Um, then down another floor. I think this is my social floor. Yeah, I've got a library over here, a temple over there. Um, that's, um, that's a weaponsmith's guild. I've got my barracks here. And here is my tavern. Um, we might see what we can do about making all of this a bit fancier as well. Yeah. Uh, this is my dormitory floor and where I keep my um, my curious animals that I got from the elves. I've probably still got bunches <laughs> of animals in cages. Uh, down a bit further. Oh yeah, lots of animals in cages. <laughs> Uh, a lot of them are just wild animals from that we've caught on the surface. And then, oh yeah, I bet that's a lot easier with just being a single tile too. Yeah, the uh, the animals tend to congregate around your fortress because there is only your fortress. The fortress, <laughs> yeah. And then down on this, this is sort of the bottom working level of the fortress at the moment. And down here uh, is where I've got my workshops because. I've been throwing all of the uh, all of the rocks over the edge of the fortress as we've been digging down. Um, Amazing. I, uh, so I've got some uh, quantum stockpiles with uh, little minecarts that are um, like the, they're slowly collecting in all of the rocks and things and dumping them. And then here I've got one that is uh, dumping the metal ores 
down there. So I've got a stockpile here for um, the, the metal ores. At the moment it's just got one piece of hematite in it. And that minecart is dumping it down a hole. And that hole is eventually going to lead all the way down to my magma smelters at the bottom. Uh, so I'll, as we dig the fortress down, I'll be moving, like once we've cleared all of the metal ores out of this area, I'll be um, moving this minecart down anytime we get large quantities of metal ore on a floor. Um, yeah. I'm starting to do the channeling down as well because uh, we want this to continue down further. Um, the blue markings are where I would put more uh, workshops if I wanted them. Uh, if I go, whoops, go down another level. And down here, all I've got is just the levers that control all of the bridges and things. This is um, like the switchbacks where the traders turn the corner and start spiraling it up. And I need to come through here and channel out this area. Um, I'll just get them to channel out another piece there. Um, I'm just doing this slowly because I think... Actually, do you know, I don't have any holes under this side. I could get them to channel out this whole thing. Sort of, as I finish one of the switchbacks, I, uh, I get... <clears throat> I start channeling underneath. I can do this bit because they cleared all of the rocks from around this area here. So once they clear another area of rock, then I can start digging down that bit as well. And um, This staircase here was how I broke into the, the caverns. Uh, and I'm just lowering this staircase as we go down too. Um, and they're going to build a little bridge over it. <laughs> it's um so yeah this this bit here this is going to become a, a bridge in the air uh if we go down another level and uh, we start seeing the caverns so i have managed to wall the caverns in completely so caverns are um completely secure all three caverns oh good and uh but the yeah the caverns are an absolute mess what have we got down there so yeah we get uh, visitors from time to time oh, as you do yeah <clears throat> it's interesting because they they come and just hang out at the edge of the walls and because i've walled them off right at the edge of the map um they do tend to bump into each other and we get an awful lot of fighting around the edge of the map mm, i see so there we've got a helmet snake Let's see what we've got. Uh, oh, this is where I keep my llamas. Uh, there's a dead forgotten beast there. I wonder what killed it. It's huh. had a fight with a giant cave toad. And lost. And lost, yeah. I'm just wondering. Yeah, it looks like it was just a giant cave toad it's had a fight with. <clears throat> Uh, if we go down a bit further, now this this is actually a pretty interesting cavern because underneath we've got a road. Oh, really? Yeah, that road leads off to other other fortresses. Um, yeah, so of course. They have like underground yeah. railroads and stuff like that, essentially. So this road was like this when we got here. <laughs> Uh, and if I if I need to let somebody out of the fortress, this is how I let them out. Um, because I don't have any eyes on the road at the moment, um, I, I just keep the road walled off. My intention is to build, um, like have an archway going across the road mm -hmm. and have the road connect into the fortress by spiraling up. Uh, and connecting, yeah, connecting into my uh, my spiral ramps. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll work it out. <clears throat> um, if we go down a bit further, um, I was mining out some rock down here. Uh, I should get rid of you because all of the rocks upstairs now. Uh, down a bit further, 
Welcome to the second cabin. I was making olivine here. Uh, and there's an artifact on the floor there. Oh. Uh, we come to the second cavern. <clears throat> and here I'm this is where I've got my glass uh, my sand collecting going on oh wonderful uh, so if we need to make any glass that's uh, there's a sand patch there underneath the grate and that's where we're collecting the sand and there's uh, this is a good one for forgotten beast fights uh, the fortress is walled in a little bit more narrowly here because uh, I I didn't need the outward spiral, uh, so I thought I'd leave that to the um, to the cavern beasties. But yeah, we're let all them stay up there. Yeah, yeah, we're all secure down here. Um, I've got a load of elk birds, or I had a load of elk birds that are caught in these traps. Um, I can remove those traps now. I'll sort that out at some point. We'll make the caverns pretty when we get there. <clears throat> so this is how I broke into the caverns. Rather than have the my main staircase um, open into the caverns, I would make a little staging room for my military and mm -hmm. then drop some staircases down um, at a point where I knew that the staircases would come down a pillar. I, I'd do a, um, a, a sonar scan to see if I could find where the uh, where the cavern floors were, yeah, and then bring a staircase down in what looked like the safest possible place, and then just mm -hmm. start walling it off straight away. There's, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I see you. There's something down here. I noticed. Oh, it's a reacher. Yeah, there's a uh, a very badly injured reacher just there. Um, I think it was fighting with that Gorlack. I know there was a, a Reacher and a Gorlack having a fight. Um, and uh, we've got a Forgotten Beast here. Anu the Forgotten Beast, very, very badly injured. Um, I think he's oh been in, in two Forgotten Beast fights so far. Um, won both of them. But yeah, he's um, he's fought off... He keeps... He sorts out my frame rate. <laughs> um, anything... That's so nice of him. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, we get a lot of um, a lot of things like the hungry heads and uh, things like that coming through here and hanging out. And uh, yeah, he deals with them for me. Yeah, I see that. That's a lot of bones. <laughs> uh, I've got my breeding dogs down here, so I've got a couple of male dogs. They're starting to get a bit old now. I might need to replace them with some younger ones because I had enough puppies. and So I gelded my males and then just mm -hmm. stored some breeding males down here. Right. Because everything in Dwarf Fortress still like breeds through spores, essentially, right? <laughs> yeah. As long as they've got to be close to each other to do that, though. Okay. So uh, keeping these two down in the, in the third cavern... Uh, as long as they don't have access to the females, um, mm -hmm. then they won't breed. But um, they were they were some of the younger pups, so I might need to I might need to breed some pups to um, refresh to the get, herd. Yeah, indeed. Um, so that's the third cavern layer, and then going down further. Oh, there we go. So this is where I've got my magma forges. I was thinking about putting the pump stack in to bring the magma up. Um, but um, it's... There's not Seems much like quite a ways. room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it would take up quite a bit of room in my fortress to do that. I still might do it. I might use one of the outside of the fortress have the pump stack running outside the fortress uh, at the moment i'm just bringing all of the uh, the metals down because although it's a long way it's it's like it's 60 tiles but for a dwarf that's only like 
walking 60 steps down yeah it's not far it's like walking to the edge of the map and back and yeah. you've done 60 tiles so it's not actually as far as all that um and i'll keep on bringing my living quarters further and further down towards this so i don't know i might i might bring a pump stack up um not sure yet uh, but so far I've got two forges and some smelters in place and a glass furnace down here. Uh, and then under here I pump some magma from the magma sea because the, the way the magma sea was set up, um, it, it wasn't, there wasn't a sort of convenient place for me to break into the magma sea um, mm -hmm. and to just build a floor over it. So I just dropped a hole through and then pumped uh, the bottom floor of the tower full of magma. Uh, mm -hmm. Just got a dwarf on the um, to operate the pump manually. Uh, nice and easy. Didn't take him much time at all to fill this. Uh, and because we've got a floor grate down, that means that we don't have any issues with magma crabs or anything coming through. I hate those guys. <laughs> Uh, fire snakes could still spawn in here because fire, fire snakes are kind of the magma version of vermin and they can spawn anywhere where there's magma. I get you. All right. So that's my fortress. Wonderful fortress. Very impressive. Thank you. Um, and so I've got to deal with these three bodies before I can get on with the justice system uh, let's see where so the turkey yeah if I unforbid you then there's the cavey sound where did you live ah down there yeah I'd never have found you uh, we'll unforbid your body and then the stray cat where are you ah there um, I could do with just having a look to see if there's any other dead bodies about to stink up the place. So first, on the first day of spring every year, anything that is going to die of old age dies on the first of spring. Of course. That's everybody's birthday. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Um... It's mostly like if I've got any animals that are tucked away or if anybody dies in their bedroom, they wouldn't be spotted. Um, doesn't look like there's anybody dead in a cage. No, I think we should be good. Right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, where are we going to put a prison? I feel like we should do it maybe below the road. This is... The deepest, the deeper the better for a prison. <laughs> yeah, indeed. They normally go. Um, yeah, I think we'll set up a prison on this floor here. So... A good thing to have in your prison is fancy chains. Let me just have oh, a yeah. look at... Am I making any chains? I don't know if I am. I uh, don't see any. So let's make... Shall we make them out of gold? Is gold a like higher value metal? Yeah. For dwarves. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they do like their gold chains. Um, I would like at least twenty prison uh, at least twenty prison cells. Because I think you need a prison cell for every ten dwarves. At least that's the demand. Yeah, that's that's the demand. But I like to make sure that i've got enough prisons so that if i do a trade and 
uh, I, let's say I sell a whole bunch of bracelets and then I get a mare. So this, let me tell you the story. <laughs> of the mare who loved bracelets. It was actually a, a mare that liked trousers. Okay. So I'd been very careful about making sure that when I was trading, I never sold anything that the mayor might put um, an export ban on. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'd just traded a whole bunch of old clothes when something happened to the existing mayor and a new mayor was voted in just as the trader was leaving. And immediately the new mayor was voted in. He put a ban on trousers, on the export Oops. of trousers. And I just sold a whole bunch of old, tattered old pants. Uh, and I did have about 10 prison cells in, but there was, uh, there was more than 20 people had sold their old pants uh, to the traders that year. So yeah, they all got battered by the hammerer. I think about five Oof. of them were killed. So I, I'd i like to keep a large number of prison cells because if we've got yeah, prison absolutely. cells, <laughs> they're not going to get beaten instead. So I'll tell them if we don't have, uh, that's wrong. I'll say five. If we don't have five gold chains, then make me another 20. Now, in fact, I might turn that down to one. If we've got less than one, make another 20 because they're going to make me 20. Is gold on par with uh, native platinum? Um, pretty much, it's up there. I don't think I, I don't think it's quite as valuable from memory. Um, mm -hmm. Platinum and aluminium, I think, are the two most valuable metals. I can't ah. remember if gold is quite as valuable, but certainly, right. certainly close. We could even encrust the stuff that we're making down there. That's true. If I were to be imprisoned, I would want to be imprisoned mm. in encrusted chains. Let's just pop down. So I could bring my jewelers all the way down here and get them encrusting finished goods out of metal, maybe. They're going to end up encrusting all kinds of rubbish. But, True. Um, but maybe we'll do it anyway. I'll place a jeweler. So these are the spots that have magma access. Let's put a jeweler there. Uh, you can have a chirp block. And um, yeah, I'll set that up to encrust and we'll see, we'll see how we go. All right. Right, and then we want to start. Oh, all of these little channels that are dug out to the side here are for dropping the metal ores down. So eventually I'll have this all channeled down. We've been channeling down a fair ways so far. Yeah. If a dwarf drops a metal ore down a hole and it lands on a dwarf, is there anything that could happen? Is that bad news? That's bad news. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah. So I need to be able to give them access to that. Well, that's all right. We'll, we'll leave it as it is for the moment. I'll get back to that. They haven't been very quick about throwing the metal ores down there anyway. So, yeah, where was the floor? The one underneath the road. It's relatively close to the well. Uh, I think I want to remove the walls and put in some proper walls. So I'll get them to come and dig out. Um, I can just unmark this.
Yeah, I'm going to get them to dig out the walls and we'll replace them with some proper fancy walls. Uh, even if it's just a brick block of some description. Right, dwarfs, onwards. We'll unpause finally. I might get them making some other form of brick blocks. What kind of bricks to be encased in? Mm. Yeah, at the moment I've been... Oh, we could make them out of microcline. I think I've got a good amount of microcline blocks. Make it a sort of nice bright prison. Yeah. Right, if I place down a wall, let's just see what we've got. So bauxite, I'm using bauxite and jet. I'm using in my graveyard. Um, the borax, I think I'm using in the graveyard as well. That's that goes underneath the um, the pet cemetery. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the gypsum blocks. The other clays are the blocks that are in the dining room. Uh, the chert is kind of a muddy brown colour. I'm just looking to see what I've got. So I've got plenty of microcline. One of my favorite shades of blue. Mm. I'm not very keen on the rock salt. It's got a sort of, I don't know, primary school pink look to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm not using the... Um, The, uh, the microcline for anything else in particular. So we could put in microcline walls. Of course, we could do green glass as well. <laughs> Go to jail and forfeit your privacy as well. <laughs> hey, that's an idea. I like that. <laughs> and of course, they'll have a view as well once uh, once I've carved all of this down. True. And the dwarves actually going to jail will love the glass either way. Mm. Aha, Scorchfield. Looked it up because you wondered. Uh, gold is tied for value with steel and is tied for third most valuable metal. Aha. There we go. Right, the dwarves have got quite a bit of digging to do. But yeah, I think we'll do glass walls. Uh, let me make sure I've got a good ordering for glass blocks then. Because uh, we're going to need quite a few. We'll put everybody in glass cages. Wonderful. Okay, I've got them making a hundred glass blocks. Because uh, it's a fairly slow business. Less than a hundred, make another hundred, okay. Um, less than five hundred, make another hundred. We'll keep them just making the glass blocks for the moment. Okay, hopefully they have buried the pets. I'll just go check that. Ah, yeah, there they go. Right, so they have buried the pet turkey. They've buried the pet cavey sow. And now you're going to make them little statues? Um, I'm not going to make statues to the pets. Okay. 
Gotcha. Because <laughs> now the pets are starting to get a little bit elderly, I think we'll end up with an awful lot of, uh, of pets. I might need to turn but... over a bit more space for a pet cemetery. Yeah, that's very fair. Uh, unless, of course, we get a pet that dies being brave. Right, yeah. There's, there's, there could be exceptions. Uh, what's fighting? The Reacher. Oh, look at that. We've got 19 masterpiece blue fowl blue pea fowl meat roasts. Oh, wonderful. Made from the finest pea uh, pea fowl meat. <laughs> Indeed. Right, I can put some I can put a door in there. I like that you went with like orange and black. It's almost like Halloween colors. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that. Um... Oh, Russ, I'm not sharing my screen with you. I just realized. I'm watching. I'm just watching, watching, watching on the. Yeah. Yeah, um, the Twitch stream. Do you want to. I can share it on Discord so that you sure. don't have stream delay. I've yeah, it's not realized. been bad. It's fine. You know, Door yeah. Fortress being a very action-packed game. Indeed. Oh. Oh, but I do get music, and that's worth. <laughs> Diplomacy. Aha! Right, the elf. Now, I, I'm hoping that I haven't chopped down too many trees. <laughs> okay, yeah, there I did, because I did chop down quite a few trees last year. Yep, yeah, we can abide by that. That's fine. Okay, so the elves are here. I've forgotten where I've got my trade depot. Here we go. Uh, let's see what we've got that we can sell to the elves. I can't sell any amulets because my mare likes amulets. In fact, I need to know what does my mare like? My mare's quite new. Um, my mare is Ianek. So, and this is a, a good thing to know for... Um... Oh, I've moved them so their their names are in the middle. Now I can't sort them by alphabetical order anymore. Are you about to say good knowledge to know that mm. your mare will put bands on things they like? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's good mm -hmm. to know for as part of your uh, justice system. Yeah. Okay, so Enoch likes uh, bolts, creepy amulets. Creepy crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> Buckets and creepy crawlers for their freakish wriggling. Well, who <laughs> doesn't like a little freakish wriggling? <laughs> Hangs out in the tombs all the day. It sounds like um, uh, a form of dance. The form yeah, kind right. of dance you might see on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't sell uh, bolts, buckets, or amulets. Um, but I can sell old clothes. Very true. Not to the Strong. elves, I can't. Oh no, I can't mm. sell those to the elves. Mm. Do they not like wool? No, any cloth or animal product uh, oh. we can't sell to the elves. Uh, I always thought it was just wood. So we can sell them... Um, it used to be just wood, but no, now it's uh, any any plant or animal thing. That makes sense. Like even metal, you can't because you 
use wood to make the charcoal, right? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried it with metal items to see if they're if they're funny about the metal items. I'll sell them the gems. I mean, it depends on what animals they've got. I might not need to sell all of the gems. We can always go cutting more gems out the wall. Fingers crossed for giant elephants. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have much in the way of trinkets. I need to check my crafts to see if we need to start making more crafts. Alright, gems it is. It's the only thing I've got to sell. Take our funny rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can't sell food to them either. Mm, yeah. Because all food is made out of either plant or animal. That's terrible. Oh, they've arrived already. Of course, they came in uh, through the surface entrance. Uh, let's get my broker to the depot. All right, and we can trade. Oh, okay, they're still unloading. Somebody's lagging behind. I guess. Probably the guy calling the heavy animal cages. Let's try again. Ah, here we go. Right. Uh, if we were to sell everything, it would be worth 9,000. Let's see what they've brought. A donkey, a dingo, a hippo, an alligator. Hmm. Ooh, tigers and lions. Oh my. Indeed. Well, I don't think we've ever had a pet alligator before. Let's see how many of their weird and wonderful animals we can buy. Lions and tigers and alligators. Oh my! <laughs> Okay, so if I buy their exotic animals, um, we'll keep anything we can war train and I'll butcher anything else because that's exotic meats and exotic leather. Um, gives me more cages as well. Uh, only comes to 2,800. So I'll take back our more valuable gems. That is true. That alligators and crocodiles do produce eggs as well. They do, indeed. Right. But let me tell you about crundles. Oh. Oh my God! So many eggs. Really? I didn't know crundles were egg layers. Oh yeah, they're they're prolific. It's amazing. Do you happen to have a fortress where you've got uh, good the ecstatic with the trading, uh, where you've been taming crundles? I don't, not currently. Right. But I will next time and just so I can show it to you. <laughs> because I think crundles are probably really more adorable than like what's perceived in the game. Sure. Okay, I'm thinking that now I've got a new quota from the elves, I might go chop down a tree. I'd like to chop down that tree there. Because that one's getting in my way. And... Right, which one's that? That's that one. Have you ever been at war with elves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have not. I've always wanted to, but I just never have 
I prefer not to. I figure the uh, the dwarves have got enough enemies. We don't need to make more. <laughs> right, now I've moved those trees out the way. I can finish the walls here. Let's get that. What do you mean, no access? You can get along here. Let's just pause it a second and find out why they think they've got no access. Maybe try it sooner before the path. Have I got... My hatch covers are not locked. Doors open. Staircases in place. There's nothing blocking the way as far as I can see here. Okay, I can place the floor down there. I'll get the floor finished. We'll see whether that's going to help. Do you think they'll walk through the tree branches? Mm, sometimes they use them as scaffolding. It's yeah. strange. And there's no... There aren't any tree branches here. There's just fruit on the floor. I can't imagine the fruit is that large to block our doors. <laughs> but we can imagine. Uh, we could chop down this tree as well. Yeah, hard to tell the difference between the branches and the fruits. I'd like to bring in all of the wood if I can. I'll get a dump zone down inside the door. Any tips for not letting your wood fall into the ponds, or you just kind of cross your fingers and hope for the best? <laughs> um, I'm I'm expecting to lose a whole bunch of wood. It just in depends ponds. the way it falls. Uh -oh. Yeah. Maybe he'll throw it south. Uh, what was the alert? Splash. Something's collapsed on the surface. Oh. Maybe the scaffolding above your fortress, yeah? It was attached to the tree. Oh, whoops. This has happened to me. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's as if the tree has grown into the wall, and once it yeah. got shot down, it took it with it. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, we shall... Um... We'll fix that. Are you okay? My clothes, yeah, he's unconscious. Hopefully, yeah, he's fine now. Where have the logs gone? Yeah, where did the logs go? Um, couple in the... Just two there, floor. yeah. Some of them up here, I think. Ah. Uh. Okay, now can you put in this bit of wall? They can. 
I guess that tree is what was stopping him. I guess so. This is a very dense forest. Is this a jungle? It's just a woodland, but... Um, because I haven't been cutting down trees. Yeah, there's... Ah. Uh, it's grown pretty dense while I've um, just been leaving it to do its thing. Right. In the years 258, this is in the eight years has been this fortress? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Just make sure that's not suspended. Okay, can we build the wall across there? I feel a lot safer <laughs> when I've got um, walls that are too high rather than just one high. It's yeah. easy enough for for things to climb over, but um, the higher the wall, it seems to have some sort of effect on your on the line of sight. Mm -hmm. It'll dissuade them from climbing more often. Yeah. Get a corner piece of floor in there. Tea's turned into a weird lizard. Uh, let's go have a look. The, I love the weird lizard. see that sprite. Yeah. Oh no, turn back again already. Missed it. In export, a uh, ban on certain exports. Bolts. Okay, we've made our gold chains. Someone's left their trousers on the roof. I just imagine a dwarf like grabbing his trousers, both hands, <laughs> says, I don't need these anymore, and rips them off, <laughs> and just lets them fall and walks away. Indeed. Oh. Oh my. A new forgotten beast. The Forgotten Beast, or Akmul Zest, has come. A huge blob composed of vomit. It has a square <laughs> shell and it squirms and fidgets. Beware its deadly spittle. I uh, wonder if that's a Forgotten Beast fight. Let's have a look and see if it's going to take on Anu. Is it that one? So there's Anu. No, it's there he this is. one. There we go. So yeah. we've got three Forgotten Beasts hanging around at the moment. Okay, there's our, our Forgotten Beast. That's Cavern Layer 2. No, I think he's in there by himself. He's mm. frail. I feel like this is a, a Forgotten Beast that'll be one-shotted. Just because he's made of vomit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to do the best job of keeping our caverns free of uh, of other invaders. No, but he is disgusting. Indeed. I really am liking this single tile fortress, though. <laughs> you were you right. Like that, it. <laughs> yeah, it's very inspiring.
Death by Fluffy Wumbler. <laughs> says oh no. Secretary. Okay, copper bars. Missing a corner? That corner there? What does the enemies option mean on the Embark? Uh, the enemies option should determine how aggressive the enemies are. I've not played with it myself, so I can't tell you... I can't give any definitive report on how much tougher or weaker it makes. It makes the enemies, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Am I going to lock the doors? I think I'm going to lock the doors on that side. That's the side that the, uh, the goblins, when they raid, they usually come in that side. Mm -hmm. I guess you could take a look at the map and see if, like, where they live. Mm. Is there wagon access to my ramp, so have the trees blocked it? They can certainly get in here. Oh, oh my. Now we've got a net in. Oh. Okay. And Etin has come, a giant humanoid monster with two heads. Okay, where are you? First of all, have I got any dwarfs on the surface? Because it's going to be on the surface. Mm -hmm. There's the Etin. Now, Etins are not trap avoid. Oh, he's got a child. And he's oh, no. And he's bad with words. <laughs> oh, <precarious>. no. <laughs> uh, however, his child, Luskal Istrathnovel Mitter Akest, his only daughter. His or her? Um. Yeah, his only daughter. Luskal Jewel Brides, the something of domination. Um, I think his his daughters killed a few people to get a name like that. And I'm right. guessing he's killed a few people to get a name like that as well. Let's see if... Um... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, he's been killing dwarves and elves and dwarves and elves. 21 kills. Now, as long as I can keep my dwarfs inside, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to unlock all my doors so we can get in. I'm going to leave the hatch covers unlocked so that he can get here right where do you think you're going you're playing damn it <laughs> a bad place to damn play it, child um i want to lock my inside hatches because ettins if i remember rightly are not trap avoid so as long as he doesn't jump the wall, if he comes through the doors, we should just catch him in a cage trap. Yeah, just make sure all of these cage traps are loaded, and they are. But if not, that child might be in trouble. Indeed. Right, I just want to keep it... Since I can't lock the hatch covers to stop anybody else from coming out... I'm just going to keep an eye on this corridor. We've got a cat going out. Cat! Kitty, no! Stay inside! Oh! I think the Etin's already in the trap. 
Yeah, I see a cage. There we go. <laughs> right, that problem's dealt with. The cat and the kid live to play another day. Indeed. Right. We'll lock that door again. Uh, we'll unlock the hatch covers again. So, yes, the, the child was playing bait. It was TBZ. <laughs> um, yeah, acting as bait. Right. Oh, they finished the engravings there. I'm just going to add some extra tables and chairs to my dining room. Oh, no, don't use closest. I want glass. When you place tables like that to make a dining hall, do you, in your brain, like role play that's just one giant long glass yeah. table? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And every so now and then, I might leave a gap so they can walk through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Thundy says, "Funny that the Etting showed up immediately after the wall fell down." He'd been Indeed. watching, waiting. Yeah. Uh, my wall's all good now, though. I'm just wondering if I'm going to need to chop down any more trees. I don't think that one's in the way. As long as its trunk doesn't come out any further. No, I think we're all good. Right, I can get back to building my prison. <laughs> oh, distractions, distractions. That's door fortress in a nutshell. Indeed. There we go. Right, they've mined out all of the outside. So now I want them to line the walls with microcline. Oh no, we were doing glass, weren't we? Oh, that's right, yeah. Makes me think of uh, the X-Men. They put Magneto in a glass cage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glass isn't spelt with a C. Class. Class. <laughs> Green class blocks. Hmm. Did you want to show off your fortress at all today? Uh, it's really nothing to show off. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, there's not much going on. I need to have a fortress on hand when you uh, invite me <laughs> to do these things. So I have something more impressive than, oh, check out my like 16 by 16 block in the, the ground that... <laughs> has all my stockpiles check it out <laughs> that's how it be though isn't it that's at the start that's how it be yeah absolutely and then it just evolves over time mm. okay we'll get the all these corners in As one quality of life I would like is being able to select the material you'd last used. Yeah, like put it, the it list. would be really nice, wouldn't it? Or even just a, a tick box that says keep using the same material or something like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, dwarfs onwards. 
Any bets that one gets stuck behind the wall at the top left? What's that? Say you know how dwarves love to oh, yeah, yeah, place yeah, yeah. a wall. There's yeah, they just have a little little spot in the top left, left they could they get could stuck behind. Themselves out of, yeah. yeah, indeed. I guess uh, you, since we're talking about... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, Peladorus is just saying the ability to build a large region and then just cancel the ones you don't want to... Uh, you can do that. So. Oh, that's true. If I build... I could build a wall like that and then go through and cancel say something Carved like that out. yeah yeah that probably be a far easier way for me to do my graveyard room actually my graveyard floor hmm true yeah so yes you can do that so yeah eventually the all of this area here is going to get mined out um, down to the magma sea or at least down to the magma level the bottom of the mm -hmm. fortress so they'll they'll have a, a room with a view and then anytime you throw away any trash you just throw it off the side yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now I could do these cells like I did with um, the bedrooms and have access from the floor below. That is true, yeah. And then do like two layers of, of prison cells, one above the other. I think that'll give me 20 something cells. Because there's only so many cells that can fit in in a floor like this. If I try and yeah. put corridors in, then I don't get very many cells at all. Mm -hmm. Although the the prisoners don't value the like they don't look at the value of the cells and say this is a nice cell. The only thing they really pay attention to is the um, the the chain. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But we can try and get them to sleep in a bed and eat at a chair and table. Yeah. Because the chains, I guess, reach if you were to place it somewhere, they mm. can only walk around the immediate perimeter. So I guess the rooms will have to be like something of a three by three. Right, let's get the corners in. At least we do have a search bar. That is true. I'll give it that. <laughs> we don't you have, have a to search scroll down every time. Yeah. We don't have a search bar everywhere, and it's nice that we've got one here. Yeah. One of the things that was quickly added, I remember, was the all button. So you yeah. can assign all the material to one project. That was very welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, 
Uh, this fortress that I'm working on now, <clears throat> um, Kit Fox had originally proposed that they show this this fortress off at um, PAX, uh, at the, past e the PAX East panel. Um, oh, yeah. But unfortunately, um, the PAX people rejected the proposal. <laughs> Aww. Any Which particular is a reason I just didn't want to. It was because um, at PAX the the panels can't be used to promote a game. Uh, oh really? You can okay. because they don't want the panels to be just like advertising. An advertisement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a super booth almost. Indeed. So uh, the the Dwarf Fortress panel is going to be talking about Oh gosh, I can't remember now. Was it world building, or was it storytelling? I can't remember. I can't Both remember of those it was... are very dwarf fortressy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those two. I uh, read about it recently, and I mm -hmm. can't remember which. Oh, apparently we've got some puppies. I thought. I thought we'd sorted that. Apparently not. Um, let's see, elk birds and forgotten beasts. Okay, so there's some elk birds down with Anu. Anu's taking care of them. Right. So if I'm going to do... If I'm going to do small cells, like three by three cells, and have them connected by stairs, I want to... Because we're going to want glass stairs, aren't we? So let's get the... That sounds terrifying. <laughs> let's get the dwarves digging out down here. They can be doing this while I work out the layout upstairs. I'll need them to make more glass blocks, actually. Need to give them a bit of time for that. Magma and sand, though, is amazing. It's just, it's free materials. Indeed. My miners are, are pretty good, so it shouldn't take them too long. Be like blasting through soil. Mm. Uh, I can work out... how I want this to look though. So let's say we've got a three by three room in each of these corners. Oops. Leaves me a lot of waste there the everything's um, even numbers yeah in the fortress and there's no reason to have more than a three by three I don't really even need a three by three if they've got a chain and a bed Um, that would do for them. Yeah, I guess that's really what, what amenities you want to give them. Yeah, I'm quite happy to have people bring a uh, drink to them and bring... Because um, they, they won't help themselves to alcohol. They've got to have buckets of water brought down. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, for food, if somebody's bringing them food, then they both get happy thoughts from that. Oh, that's nice. So if I give them a chain and a bed and something like a statue to look at, I could make their rooms a lot smaller. I'm 
just thinking if I remove one side and kind of spiral the rooms I might be able to fit another one in the corner then I don't need to make the the rooms double walled because they're not going they're, they're not they don't care about the value of course you almost fit all 20 cells on one floor mm, yeah that's what i'm thinking And then if I bring out some rooms here, oh, I've just made that one bigger, haven't I? Oh no, it's just that I've um, you haven't filled in your corner pieces corners, completely. Yeah. Which they might as well have the corners. Yeah. Well, otherwise, yeah, I think you're still symmetrical. Yeah. So this one would go. Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? just this one. Oh yeah, because I'm spiraling, that's why. That's right, yeah. Um, I can't fit any in here, can I? Not unless you wanted to make like an isolation unit. Mm. But what I could do is make this area here the prison guard's room. True. Yeah. Make that the captain of my guard's room. I mean, sure, he's got the central corridor running right through his office. <laughs> um, but I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> Just imagine he has a checkpoint there for everybody. Yeah, indeed. Papers, please. <laughs> uh, where I can make these rooms a bit bigger, we might as well. In fact, I could make two small rooms there. Uh, let's just mark that one there. Yeah, this long room here. I could make that into two small rooms. Mm -hmm. So how many rooms is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33 Enough rooms. justice about 300 dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. Uh, nearest well is not very far away. It's uh, just up about... Mm, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten flights, something like that. Am I able to set a meeting area over it and overlap a guild hall to train prisoners? That would be Ooh. amazing. I don't know whether or not they'd be able to watch the demonstration, though. It'd be like rehabilitation. Yeah, I don't know whether that's a possibility, but we can find out. 
No, dwarfs can't see through windows and they can't see through glass walls. They can see through... Um, through... Oh, what are they called? The slats? Um, fortifications? Fortifications. So I could use fortifications for the walls. That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, the the rooms don't need the walls, that's true. Um now I'm happy so it's not that I only want twenty rooms, I wanted at least twenty rooms. If um if I've got more than twenty rooms, I'm happy with that. Now, do I want to channel out the floors and have glass floors? Glass floors. Glass floors. <laughs> I love glass floors just because you can you can actually see the things below you. Yeah. Do you, uh, I haven't built a glass floor over rock over a rock floor, so I don't know. And either you or chat might know. Do I actually need to channel out the floor to be able to see through? I think if you place floor like you normally do, yeah. it just you see immediately you just through see the... immediately through to the floor yeah. below. All right, let's see if we've got enough rock to put down the floors there. Uh, enough glass blocks. No, I haven't. So I can't do all in one sweep. I can do a few of them. I'll do two at once. And then I shall cancel the middle. I am going to run to the bathroom real quick. No worries. See you in a minute. Oh, you know what would help would be if I put down some more glass forges. We're talking you for that. <laughs> Actually, with it being green glass, can we see below? We can. Yeah, so we can see through the floors. What happens if you don't have a justice system? There will be some dwarfs who get upset that... Um, that certain things that should have happened didn't happen. Um, that suggests that if we put an engraving and then put a floor down over the engraving, I guess the engraving is destroyed. I don't know because I've not tried it yet. Yeah, the nobles can get cranky and if somebody has had some injury done to them uh they can get upset that justice was delayed oh it's late spring i need to open up my fortress um for the humans we'll pull that lever that will open up this drawbridge and i'll just check the spiral ramp make sure this is the bauxite ramp So cool because it's got the bauxite bridges on it. Uh, this is the one that's already set up with a dog room. Just make sure that all of the... Yeah, all the drawbridges are good to go there. Eventually, I'll replace all of the drawbridges with the colour-coded ones. Can you engrave the walls with a story from their crime and ta- Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah, so we can put an engraving on the wall 
or well no I can't because I'm not doing we can put an engraving on the floor for everybody who gets imprisoned in the room telling a story are you shaming about it. your prisoners <laughs> no chat is <laughs> oh okay good <clears throat> look at your crimes look what you did <laughs> I think it's such a good idea I like that have them do the engraving as a penance it's like writing on a chalkboard after school <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, I've just uh, opened up my, I've just told them to open up the uh, the ramp drawbridges because the humans will be here soon. Okay, and yeah, we can see the rocks through the floors. So yeah, there's uh, just, wonderful. just about enough um, there. Oh, I was going to head downstairs and put in another magma forge oh yeah I'm still on blueprint in fact I can put in uh, a few more okay what are people complaining about Somebody's fighting. Yeah, people fighting. Grundles. Oh Indeed. no. What's a chalkboard? Says Kamikaze Chicken. <laughs> hmm. Oh, kids today. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to make walls in your prison. Okay, so now let's build... I mean, I I will. But I, as long as I get the floors down, we can start building the prison straight away. We want uh, furnaces. Magma glass furnace. I want one there. Chirp blocks. One there. Uh, chirp blocks. And one there. Okay, that should speed up our glass making. Right, you. Now, let's see if we can sort out some encrusting we want to encrust furniture with cut gems do forever if we've got some cut gems then encrust the furniture with it Now that means that to make the cash to to buy the weird and wonderful stuff from the elves, I'm gonna need to. Hmm, gonna need to make a lot of crafts if I'm turning all of my gems into furniture. Out of rock crafts, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do children go to prison? Uh, the children do. Uh, just to point a lot for the prisoners. <laughs> uh, no, the the children can go to to prison. That would be a funny idea if you put like chains inside your bars to use as justice, and it's kind of like mm. a stockade, and they can like throw like produce at them and stuff <laughs> like that. Now, I do have an artifact chain. So if I go... I should have just jumped there. It's somewhere. 
There it is. Yeah, artifact chain. Uh, let's pick you up. We'll put you in the prison. Okay, then we'll go down to the prison. And we'll install it in one of these. Um, actually, I should have put in the staircase instead of um, a glass floor. We'll have the staircase in that corner there. And then we'll install... Rope and chain. We'll install you there. And then we'll have one prison cell. <laughs> Doors will be honored to be bound to this artifact. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Vile force of darkness has arrived. Okay. Parlay! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I've got nobody on the surface. I don't see any dwarves out on the surface. Uh, where are they? Are you sure? <laughs> um, I'll just quickly close the trapdoor. It might be that they've just clipped the map and they weren't really intending on sieging me, but um, just in case. Possibly, yeah. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to step here. Indeed. Steps right back out. And I'll just lock the doors... and the outside hatch covers so if i get the surface locked up oh yeah here they are here they are and yeah they're all trying to get to my dogs some of them might get through so no sense in my dogs stopping and fighting them let's let the dogs run in ah okay nice we sorted them. Uh, you can bring the dogs back. <laughs> <laughs> False alarm! Actually, we might let these guys down and crush them. Ooh. Yeah, I'll keep that suspended. We'll let the dogs in. Once the dogs have made their way in, it's the switch back at the bottom that I need to look at. Let's see, that's on F4, I think. Yeah. Right, once we see the dogs come past here, I can close that door. The goblins should still be attracted down by this dog. There's one, two, three. Okay. Uh, that's the switch back door. Let's get that lever pulled. Okay, so now if I tell them to pull that lever on repeat we should crush most of them we might get some of them if any of them make their way down we've got a bunch of weapon traps down here to deal with them uh, but they can't get into the fortress um even more importantly our dwarves can't make it out <laughs> so our dwarves can't get into the ramp just make sure that there's nobody on the ramps before they get crushed by the crusher Looking pretty clear. Indeed. Okay, pull that lever. We'll let the goblins down. Here they come. They you have dogs actually... on the left there? Uh, I've... Oh, I they... see. There we go. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, oh my god. Make it to... Oh my god. <laughs> right, his body's gone. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, no. Are you going to make it in? No, god. The mayhem. <laughs> Siege is broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So now what I need to do is to uh, pop downstairs and say, I'm glad you enjoyed playing with that lever, but you can stop now. <laughs> and let's... Because now the humans are due any minute. So we need to get this door opened up again. Okay. Uh, let's go up to the surface and we'll... open up the fortress again um, the dwarfs will probably bring the dogs across the surface I'll leave that one closed for the moment okay oh there's a goblin still running away. Uh, don't bring the dogs out across the surface. <laughs> that that would be a bad thing. You can bring the dogs up the ramp. He's moving really slow. What happened to you? Battered by the bridge, I hope. I guess slow. Doesn't seem to have taken any injuries. Okay, Vile Force of Darkness has been dealt with. Most violently. <laughs> But they deserve it. Right, I can get back to my prison. Uh, just downstairs from here. Right, I need them to come and channel through the floor there for the staircase. Just in case I do put in any walls here. Yeah, raised from history and left dark smudges too. I should check the corridors and make sure that there's no corpses left there. Sometimes they'll just make it past um, one of the crusher bridges and die on the edge. Yeah. Well, one did die, and then he got smashed. Yeah. Just check the... Okay, nothing made it down this far. Nope, looked like uh, nothing survived that. Very good, that's what I like to see. It's just the one goblin who got away to tell the story. Indeed. Don't go there on there, you'll be smashed to atoms. Alright, just need a miner to get down here now. Uh we I could get the floor lifted up there as well and we'll do the same on that one. You think a bunch of goblins? Uh, 
You think calling a bunch of goblins a vile force of darkness cheapens it for when real forces of darkness like necromancers come round. Yeah. <laughs> An entertainment troupe of goblins is also a vile force of darkness for me. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, we're, um, we're about to get those sorts of problems now, I think. Oops. Yeah, so from there... Ah, just the one layer. Green glass blocks. And here as well. green glass blocks must designate a dungeon before this restraint will be used for imprisonment so yeah this is this is a bit i've not done before oh human diplomats arrived Do the humans bring anything interesting for you? Uh, whips. Ah. Head treasurer's arrived. Caravan's here. Right, we'll sort those out in a moment. I just want to see if I can get a few more um, floors put in place before. Like, if I can get just a few. <laughs> just a few of the... Um, the prisons in place before I start appointing people. Uh, not you. Cancel with that one. We'll put the stairs in there. Alright, well, we've got to go and move a bunch of stuff to the trade depot again. Let's pop upstairs. Right, at least these guys will take um, clothes. Clothes, indeed. Where did you come from? A gift from the elves. A gift from the elves. That's that's a little bit concerning. And a rope reed shirt. It wasn't me, I didn't kill him. <laughs> Have we got a corpse in the fortress I need to know about? We'll bring down some prepared food as well. Bring down that one. Oh, they've started decorating the barrels. It means they took a barrel all the way downstairs to put a, a gem on it and then carried it all the way back up again. These daffy dwarves, I tell you. <laughs> I'm going to get them to carry all of the amulets to the trade depot. Give them the opportunity to mm, acquire them. While the mayor's not looking, go take them. <laughs> yeah, I won't sell them, but I'll, uh, I'll let them, let the dwarfs acquire them. Yeah, there's there's some elf stuff here. And it wasn't me, I didn't steal them. I've got a feeling that the 
that the elves might not look at it quite like that, though. Oh, you know what that means. If somebody's... If all of this stuff's here, if the, the elves have left their stuff, they're going to have left a loincloth. I'm going to... One of my dwarfs somewhere is going to be wearing underwear. And that means I've got to make <laughs> underwear for everybody. Because they get jealous? <laughs> well, what happens is the whoever's got the underwear off the elf, um, they'll keep on wearing that underwear and it'll get tatty. And then they can't replace it because they haven't got anything to replace it with. So if I make some replacement underwear because I've got a dwarf that's getting really freaked out by the fact that his knickers have got rotten, then then I've got another pair of knickers in the fortress and trying to get only that one dwarf to replace his knickers. Um, that That's really difficult. <laughs> so as soon as you make another pair of underwear, um, another dwarf that goes, oh, I haven't got any underwear on. That looks <laughs> what wonderful new technology. <laughs> pair of drawers. And uh, so then they'll grab it. And then you've got two dwarves that'll start worrying about their, their underwear going rotten. Uh, so, yeah, you've got to make underwear for uh, everybody. I don't know. It sounds like the initial loincloth wear it just is going to be another case like a wear animal. I'm just going to have to entomb them and be like, <laughs> I'm sorry. You chose to wear underwear. You shouldn't have. You've been cursed. The forbidden knickers. Yeah. It's knowledge they're not allowed to have. So it was, uh, <laughs> I, uh, the fact that, because they used to have the problem that dwarves just couldn't make their own underwear at all. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was a real problem because if they did manage to acquire some underwear, there was n absolutely nothing you could do about it. And um, they'd just be tattered forever. Yeah, you couldn't make them take them off. You couldn't replace them. If you tried to buy more underwear, uh, you just end up making your problem bigger because you could never buy enough underwear or kill enough goblins to keep the, the, your dwarfs in underwear. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, as soon as you got underwear in your fortress, you had a problem. Um... And I'd raised this with uh, with Tarn a few times. Uh, so now he's introduced the ability for us to make our own underwear. Ah, gotcha. I was kind of hoping he was to allow us just to raid settlements just for underwear. <laughs> so at least there is an answer now. Dwarven underwear, who would have thought? Yeah, <laughs> I was known as a specialist in dwarven underwear for a while. <laughs> That sounds like a bit of merch you could sell. <laughs> Menaces with spikes. Oh yeah, we we are a fortress of silk trousers, that's right. Damn. Softest pants in all the land. Indeed. I wonder what else the elves have left us. Uh, I don't want these booklets. The shield show. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> I could hear that, Ivy. Lots of toy boats. I think their caravan, something bad must have happened to their caravan, I'm guessing. Have we got any weapons we want to get rid of? Yeah, those short swords can go. And those bows. That wooden long sword. Uh, what else do the elves 
spring that I might want to get rid of. I wonder if arrows count as bolts. Hmm. We'll try selling those arrows. We'll see how we get on. So where where is this elven stuff? Are there any corpses? Yeah, let me have a look and see if we got a dead and missing. Oh god, this could be anywhere, couldn't they? <laughs> that was a the dwarf and merchant that died a long time ago fell into the river. Oops. Uh, not under dead or missing. How oh, interesting. I wonder if one of them was a were creature and just turned and forgot all this stuff. I don't know. I'm yeah. just speculating. Wondering. Let's have a look in the stocks and see if we can find one of these things that the Right, where are you? Being carried. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Is there a corpse on the stair? What a mystery. I wonder if they fell down the stairs? I mean, Is it a possibility fun. that pack animals can die of old age? I guess so. I don't know, yeah. But then the animal corpse would have been there as well. That's true. And okay. I, don't, mm. I guess you don't have a corpse pile somewhere? Uh, I do, on the surface. Oh. There's a barn owl corpse in it. And the skeleton of what I presume was um, a goblin. But yeah, it should be forbidden. None of the dwarfs have reported seeing a dead merchant. Or a dead pack animal, for that matter. Where did we see... I think it was in your silver-lined uh, bedroom oh, area. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's there. So if I go... I just thought I'd check up a little bit as well. So that's the floor above. There's nothing there.
Hmm. Abducted by aliens. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it, this is really bizarre. I have no idea why we've got a bunch of elf stuff. Oh, well, okay. We'll let things tick over. If it was a pack animal, you also have that died of old age in spring. You might not have noticed. Um, I did check everything that yeah, it would have died of old age. They don't usually At the beginning die of, of the year. Yeah, they don't usually die of old age in the middle of the year. Yeah, it's like a horror novel with a disappearing caravan, indeed. <laughs> Okay, we have a diplomat. Much to discuss is the human keeper of the seal. Pleasant place we carved out for ourselves. I, I rather like it, thank you. We should get the treasurer coming in soon as well. Enx being re-elected. Dog and a pig are having a fight. Oh, I need to butcher some animals. Um, yeah, let me... The dogs and the pigs are getting a bit overcrowded. Uh, and seems like a good time to deal with that now. We, since we just had a raid less likely to have problems on the surface. Let's get rid of some of the peahens. So I've got six of those. Uh, I think I'm better off getting rid of the sows first. I don't know why that one's got a train. Oh, yeah, why have you got a trainer? Uh, we'll butcher the gibbon, the hippo, um, that duck. Whew, that's a lot of llamas. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the animals are getting a little out of control. And the less female pigs I've got, the less... Um, piglets. Piglets will have, indeed. But I don't want to butcher too many at once. Okay, I think that will do. And if I go down to my lion and tiger room while I'm thinking about it. Where are my lion and... Oh, there they are. Okay, who's in a cage still? A whole bunch of elk birds. A Gorlack. Fresh me. Some wild capybaras, a honey badger, some wild boars, a barn owl, 
some water buffalo capybaras they're all just the wild animals Okay, so we've got... Um, you got quite the menagerie. Indeed. Okay, you can bring these guys down here. I know I've told you to butcher a bunch of them. Um, not the etting. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave the etting in the cage. For now. Right. He decapitated an Ed and loses one of his heads. Will he keep going? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, let's get the broker to the depot. Oh! It's another forgotten beast! The Forgotten Beast, a Guggen something has come. <laughs> a huge quadruped composed of granite. Oh, that'll be tough. Interesting. Yeah. It has three long hanging tails and it appears to be emaciated. Beware its webs. Ah, okay. A webbing Forgotten Beast could be quite a nice boon to us. Yeah. Um, three webs. I'll just get the trade done. Oh no, they're still unloading. Okay, let's go have a look at where this Forgotten Beast is then. Oh, we're going to have a Forgotten Beast fight. Webs versus Anu? Yeah. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Anu's up for this one. <laughs> All my limbs are broken. Please put me out of my misery. Indeed. Egnan Zan. Let's have a look. Incredibly quick to heal and slow to tire. Yeah, I think this is a replacement for Anu. And made of granite. Indeed. I can't even pick up Anu now. Oh, there we go. There's Anu. So, Anu has fought, fought and killed so many things. Uh, Anu was a gigantic humanoid composed of talc with a square yeah. shell and it undulated rhythmically. Beware its poisonous vapors. Alright, well let's um let's keep an eye on these two. We'll do a a step by step I'm just spamming the um, the full stop button. Yeah, look, he's heading straight for Anu. Can smell the blood. He's going for the kill. It looks like Anu's just staying down there. Anu might have lost the, the ability to walk by now. Oh, there we go. He's got Anu all webbed. Oh, those are webs. But Anu is is spitting out all of his deadly spittle. But our webbing creature has the high ground, or had the high ground. Looks like the battle's raging. Let's just see, is Anu... Oh no, oh, Anu's mangled talc. Oh, it's vapor, I see. Indeed. So, did the... Did our other guys survive? He did indeed. Um, how are you doing? Wow. It's up a body is broken. 
and smashed open. Its right front Oof. leg is broken. Its right front leg is smashed open. Its head is broken. Its head is smashed open, and its left tail is gone. All that from a talc monster? Wow. Yeah. Mind you, talc, of course, is also made of rock. Yeah, but it's super soft, isn't it? <laughs> Compared to granite? Damn. <laughs> Destroyed him. Right, I uh, just wanted to check the notices. Uh, let's... Oh, we're still waiting on one item to be brought. Oh, they're still unloading yet. That was brutal, yeah, indeed. <laughs> right, let's see if we can trade. We can. Right, if we sold all of our stuff except for... I don't want to sell any of those amulets. Uh, what nice things have you brought? First of all, did you bring any... Oh, codices. I'll buy you books for our library. Exploring the village, concerning the music, loss interpreted. Hmm, curious what that's about. Edry King's the Kingdom Dwellings, a new approach. Pathways to the humans, exploring bar fence. It must be a travel guide. The possibilities of the pits. First the human, then the world. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, another copy of Pathways to the Humans. And another copy of Pathways to the Pits. Oh no, Possibilities of the Pits. And Oh yeah, two copies of that. So if I... We don't want two copies of the book. We'll get rid of... Because the, the price is just... Um the quality of the book itself it doesn't change the quality of the writing just like how elaborately decorated it is so we'll take off the most expensive two copies right the next thing that i want from these guys is their whips whips are the most effective weapon um should be somewhere near the top Oh, all of your logs, please. Do whips still do uh, slashing damage? Uh, it's crushing damage. Oh, interesting. So I guess you'd want something like silver then. Yeah, silver whips are the best. Um, not giving them much profit, but... But it's still not bad. I could try selling them that amulet. See if we get away with it. They'd have to leave before Ianek put a ban on amulets. Fingers crossed. I mean, it would only be one person thrown into jail for for the breach of the, the ban. Um, That's true, yeah. A smumper. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name for some reason. I want your swamp, your swamper. Um, at some point, I'm gonna deck out my temples and um, and the tavern and stuff. I'm hoping to get that done today, but the game keeps distracting me. Of course. I'm just wondering if they brought any bins of stuff. Did they bring any bins of cloth or anything?
so yeah, what I've been doing is uh, I've been keeping the the good whips for my military, and then the copper whips I've been putting in weapon traps. Oh, uh, nice! <laughs> the uh, and the whips have an area of effect as well from the weapon traps. Interesting. They'll they'll uh, they'll reach like one tile out from the trap. Oh, instead of being on the trap itself. Yeah. They don't seem to have brought any any cloth or leather with them. I'll buy all of their thread. I'm wondering whether I can get that webbing forgotten beast to um, to spit some webs into the fortress. Can they spit through fortifications? They can indeed. I see. What else might we want? Because we're giving them rather a lot of profit at the moment. Um, is there anything I don't want to sell? We could keep the... We could keep some of the stuff. I, I do want to get rid of a lot of it, though. We could take the food back. I want to get rid of the old clothes and a lot of the stuff that we got from the elves. It's just clogging up the stairs anyway. Yeah, it is. Or it was. At least now yeah. it's in the trade depot. That's true. I want to get rid of things like the wooden greaves and stuff. And those wooden weapons. So I definitely want to sell that stuff. Uh, I suppose... I mean, we don't need any more food or anything like that off them. Um, we could buy some more of their musical instruments. That's a bit more reasonable. Oh, what bars have you got? What if I just buy all of your bars? Cut gems? Okay, they've got some expensive cut gems. I don't need to buy all of them. I think I'll buy... a couple of their cheaper rough gems. Unless they've got any really nice blocks. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll buy that platinum block. Have that aluminium block as well. Mm, that'll do. All right, trade. Uh, he's ecstatic with the trade in. He respects that the heavy vine is a great treasure. Very good. All right, Enoch, you're no longer required at the depot. This human loves all the profit he just made. Indeed. Okay, um, so let's go back down to the cavern down here. See, I'm thinking what we could do is carve some fortifications in this wall here. Just opening up a well of webs. Indeed. Uh, I'll just remove my designations from there. We'd need to smooth that bit. Because once I carve the fortifications, they're certainly not going to be doing it later. Um, we're going to want to pin an animal down here. I mean, really what I should do is get some way to... 
actually if I put a pen pasture there and then we'll add one of the creatures we'll bring a piglet down probably not the best creature because I'm looking to remove all of those um, I'm going to put a garbage dump somewhere up here And I'm going to move those logs out the way. Uh, I want to go up onto the surface and find the garbage dump left up here and just remove that so they don't come bringing it all up here. We should have a bunch of dwarfs running down here now to remove move these locks. Yeah, I also want to draw bridges of you blocker so I can collect the webs. Oh, that poor little pig. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going to happen. I don't think the Forgotten Beast will last that long. And he's, the Forgotten Beast's got a fair amount of room to manoeuvre as well. Oh! I might just get replaced right now. Indeed. <laughs> the Forgotten Beast. Palessi Bullifoisa Oma has come, an enormous feathered snail. It has wings and it appears to be emaciated. Its raw umber feathers are long and broad. Beware its noxious secretions. Okay, are you down here? I mean, it might be. It might be flying. Might be on the surface. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I, I've never had a forgotten beast on the surface. That's true. Ah, okay. Ah. It's uh, cabin layer one. Right, well, if you wouldn't mind just keeping... Like, hang around there. You're welcome to hang around there. Just deal with the critters. <laughs> what have we got there? A cave crocodile. Uh, too far? Back up to where we've got the pig. Oh. Rodent, man. And it's dead. <laughs> oh my god, they wow. yeah, tore it apart. Yeah. So the rodent people must be just out of our sight. There's, um, there is a lot of rodent people corpses along here. A lot of other dead Troglodytes and trolls, yeah. Yeah, I'm rather happy that that isn't our problem. And someone left this shoe out here and it was like, yeah, that that's staying. <laughs> okay, someone's tasked with it, so it shouldn't take too long. Just moving these logs because once we open up the um, 
once we carve the fortifications. Probably as soon as we carve the first fortification, we'll, um, we'll have difficulty doing anything more. Come on, dwarfs, where are you? Oh, look at all the crundles! Oh no! Run away! I think they are doing. Some of my people got killed by crundles. Oh no. Yeah, they can be little bastards for sure. <laughs> yeah, so many of them. Oh, the Forgotten Beast is webbing something. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it might have just been the miasma that I saw moving. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you still on your way? Oh, actually, yeah, that used to be a pile of three, so they've moved something. So, yeah, the ideal way to set this up would be to put a, a drawbridge uh, here and dig out a, a bit more chain the pig instead uh, and then we can raise the drawbridge to stop the to kill the view so that the forgotten beast doesn't um, continuously uh, attack of course we are going to let miasma through as well but the unlimited webbing yeah <laughs> small price to pay I'll sort out a permanent solution for it eventually. For the moment, what I'll be able to do is let the Forgotten Beast shoot at the uh, the pig. And then I can move the pig and the Forgotten Beast will like, wander around and attack something um, up around here. And then we can go give and try some and moment. So, yeah, yeah. Give give us a little bit of time. In fact, I might make the fortifications very small um, until I've got a proper solution in here. It'll give the um, the drawbridge the drawbridge builder a bit of a better chance. Yeah, that's true. So hopefully when you open it, it's just not constantly shooting the pig, but... Yeah. I guess you can dismiss the pig at any time. Oh! Man! <laughs> Another forgotten beast! Sluppy Taknubora has come! An enormous, skinless skink! It has a long, swinging trunk and it has a bloated body. Beware its poisonous sting! Okay, um, where are you? Oh. Oh, the fight. A fight. We got Immediately. a beast fight. Um so this is Sluppy and Synod. Okay. Uh let's have a look at these two then. So Synod, that's the Synod the depths of Dung. You are a huge <laughs> feathered stegosaurid. It has wings and it squirms and fidgets. Its burnt umber feathers are fluffed out. Beware its poisonous vapour. And the other one? Sluppy. Sluppy is an enormous, an enormous skinless skink. It has a long swinging trunk and a bloated body. Beware its poisonous sting. Yeah, I, I don't really 
think Sluppy stands much of a chance, especially with the other one being a flyer. Yeah, and he's dead. Goodness. Oh, or is it? Oh, knocked his teeth out, that's for sure. And his trunk. Oh. And his toe. They're still fighting, though. There we go. And There's the oh, squirts. No. Synod. Oh, sloppy wins. No, Sluppy's... Okay, yes, yeah, Sluppy survived that. Sluppy... Heavily bleeding. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so it was the skink that won. Yeah, the stick of sword died. Yeah, I'm very surprised. A skinless skink managed to uh, defeat a, a winged stegosaur. Okay, right. <laughs> now, game, if you can just stop distracting me for a minute. Um, wanted to go down to the cavern. Oh, needed to go up, not down. That's why. Uh, I think I'll get them to come down and carve the fortifications. And then I can get back to my prison. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. There's something down here. What is it? It's a Rutherer. Okay, so that love distracted the Forgotten Beast, which is a good thing. Only for a moment, though. Just running around webbing it. Okay. So it does, does leave us exposed to miasma, but uh, it's not like we're down here much. In fact, those, um, we don't need to deal with those logs right now. We might as well wait until the miasma dies off. Right, well, hopefully we'll get some webs down there. Uh, back to the prison, <laughs> eventually. Good luck, piggy. Right, well, I want to build these staircases. At least we should have some glass while all this has been going on. Uh, I want to construct a staircase. From here to there, out of... Oh, <laughs> it's funny. I think so much time has passed while I've not been working on this. Um, but in-game, not that much time has passed. No. So we've got about 20 blocks... I could do, I can do at least another two of these. I mean, I can do three, but I can't get, I haven't got enough blocks to do the in-betweens. Yeah, of course. Glass just takes forever to produce too. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a little bit faster now that I've put in more Um, more work orders. More kilns. <laughs> more furnaces. Oh, no, that yeah, was the yeah, one yeah, I was thinking too. of. <laughs> and 
and I wonder how we're doing on chains. We got any nice chains? Something nice and encrusted and masterfully made. No, they've been pretty bad at that actually. But it's blacksmithing. They're not particularly good at blacksmithing. Yeah. What I should do is, if I go down to my smelters, put in a stockpile here. And say, you are for furniture. But the only thing that can go in there are... Oh, is it finished goods? Uh, I think they're ropes. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Maybe it's um, maybe it is a finished good. I thought chains were furniture. I may be wrong. I thought they were too, actually. Ah. Ah. Uh. Okay. Right. So if I say none of those, all of those, um. Then only metal chains. Whatever the quality is fine. Okay, so they should only be allowing chains in there now. I don't want any bins. And then you... Uh, well, let's cancel that work order. And instead, I'm going to put in a work order for this shop, which is uh, encrust finished goods with gems. I'm going to need to give them a gem stockpile as well. Right, do forever. I want... Um, what I can do, if I put... A gem stockpile there. Just the cut gems. No, they didn't mean all. I meant just the cut gems. Uh, then I can put down, alert this from somebody, I can put down a burrow. Accept. So you are the encrusting burrow. And then I can say that the workshop can only source materials from inside the burrow. Don't need to assign any people. The workshop's got its own burrow. I think Perf. it might have been Tekkard that showed me that. So as soon as they bring some gems down and um, and some chains, they'll be able to encrust the chains. Oh, it'd be nice if I could get them to smelt and remake those chains. Like the really bad ones. Give them a bit of practice. Right. Yeah. In fact, uh, smelt them all. That one's probably the best of the lot. I could get some more magma smelters on the go as well. Um, put the magma smelters there. Uh, 
And can you make me a couple of iron anvils and we'll get some more forges on the go. Oops, what did I ask for? Other iron anvil. I know you like to pamper your dwarves. Have you ever given your bedrooms like a well in every bedroom? No, I haven't. <laughs> you like be like having indoor plumbing. <laughs> okay, we've got a dwarf in a fey mood that's claimed a clothier shop. Oh, what do you want? Uh, tan type. I doubt if we'll have any rough gems. What have you claimed so far? Cloth, cut gems and leather. Cloth, cut gems, and rough leather. gems. Yeah, rough gems. Okay, so we need to go mine some gems out of a wall. More artifact underwear. <laughs> Maybe. It's possible. Right, let's see if we can spot some gems in a wall. There's some here. I'll remove the designation from there in case the gems go back into the wall. This stripe was just to tell me where I'd seen something happening with the caverns. I'd seen the airspace oh, on the sofa. Oh, gotcha. That's a good way of marking it, yeah. Yeah, easy to put a lot of wells on a level. Yeah, it wouldn't be too difficult, would it? Um, no, I just get a lot of materials. Mm. A bit tricky with the way I've got my wells set up in this fortress. Oh, it's because of the way I've got the bedroom set up in this fortress. Yeah. Because they they all pass through a set level. What I could have done is to just designate a whole floor as a, a water floor. Of course, and yeah. And then build the... Um, the bedrooms above. Yeah, and wells can pass through other wells, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, there goes our strange mood dwarf. Make sure that she's sorted. The mayor's ended the mandate. Very good. I think that was a ban on bolts. she'll be okay unless she wanted more rough gems no you're working furiously right i can get back down humans are leaving right let's get in the stairs I 
doubt if we'll have got any fancy chains yet. Oh, we've got one. Yeah, they've decorated that one. Oh, nice, yeah. They've decorated something. Have we got any masterwork pigtail ropes? No, just that one. The other ones are pretty poor quality as well. All right. We've got one decorated chain. That would be the best chain we got. <laughs> Besides the artifact one. Uh, I think it's time that we appointed a captain of the guard. All right, who shall we make into the captain of the guard? I don't want it to be one of our strong people, so not a minor. Planters are not going to be very strong, are they? How about Erith? Mel, we'll make you into the captain of the guard, I think. I need to give you your own office and stuff. We'll sort that out. Right, now we've got a captain of the guard. Um, do I... I th think... Do I need to put everything down as a dungeon? Like the individual cells? Because there's no individual prison cells, is there? Uh, yeah, I think they, they're individual rooms, mm. just like uh, residentials and things like that. Now, at least in the legacy, you had to assign them as used for justice. Yeah. So, not entirely sure how it works with this, whether we could just designate the whole floor as a dungeon and then put down the individual ropes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll put these down individually and then we'll try designating a block. Okay, so they know that that is part of a dungeon. I think the office of the captain of the guard, I think we'll do that out of something different rather than make his floor out of borax blocks. Things happen faster when you're not on pause. Usually, yeah. I think this is the floor where I mined a bunch of other clays, yeah. Okay, our uh, play assault the weavers created Sarvesh Kustith, a hulky 
A bulky llama wool left mitten. <laughs> Just the one left mitten. <laughs> we'll be selling that. Thank you for offering it to the doomed noble arch of spiraling. Oh. Somebody Pinkerton's in chains already. Oh no, what was their crime? They're also old as heck. Um, well, 150 is when they get to the end of their... Oh, oh okay. elated to have her punishment delayed. I must have missed her. I was confined. The guilt is almost unbearable. Um, let's see if we can get you a bed. What's the nicest bed we've got? Okay, we haven't got any really good beds, but that'll do. Um, let's give you... Have we got any nice statues? Give you a, a statue to admire. You know, if I don't put any walls in here, then they can admire each other's statues. Oh, that is true, yeah. <laughs> Oops, I was trying to scroll the list there. Don't have any wonderful statues either. There's a jet statue of dwarfs for you to look at. I was just making random statues for the... Oh no, I do have a marvellous statue. Yeah, I was making random statues um, for the graveyard before I decided to make a statue... About everybody. That told death. the story. Yeah. Yeah. It's in somebody's bedroom at the moment. I've got an artifact statue. There it is. In fact, I think I've got two of them. No, that's a random statue. Where's the other one? There is a random artifact statue somewhere. Let's find it. Blood bursts. Yeah, you're in the dog room. Uh, we'll <laughs> remove that. This is um, a church statue of Zolak Floodedville, uh, the goblin, and Vabok Fluke Tombs, the dwarf. The dwarf is striking down the goblin. It relates to the killing of the goblin Sallow Butcher by the dwarf Sallow Butcher. In the early autumn of the year 154, during the clashes of savagery, it's made out of church and it's encircled with bands of oval chert cabochons and it menaces with spikes of chert. Sounds perfect for a prison. Oh, absolutely. We'll have a look at the justice system in a minute and see what she got locked up for. But at least we did have a chain. I'm hoping nobody else is getting battered. Yeah, true. Okay, then we'll install that next to her in the prison. Furniture, statue, the artifact statue. I'll make up for the the bed and the uh, the chain not being wonderful. Oh yeah, she nah. managed to lie in the bed. That's good. I'm real curious of what her crime was. Yeah, <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, oh, look at this. I haven't even looked at the justice screen yet. <laughs> a violation of a production order. Ah, okay. Ianek um, caused Pinkerton to be convicted. Ianek probably wanted some bolts or an amulet or something and I just missed it. We don't have any open cases. 
There's no cold cases, that's good. Uh, they would, so Mel would like five cages or chains. We've got one convict and that's Pinkerton. Um, we haven't had, got no intelligence yet. Pinkerton's sentence for 26 days. It's not too bad, not too bad. She'll feel no. very shamed about it. Hopefully we can get a statue there for her though. Okay, we still got another chain down. Ianek has given us a mandate. Let's have a look at Ianek's mandate. Make bolts. Um. Do I? No, I don't need a bowery. I can make them at. Can I make them downstairs at my weaponsmiths? Ammunition. Use copper. Copper bolts. Do that again. Make me two copper bolts. That was all he wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm down here. Let's get down two more magma smelters. There they are. Three more magma smelters. And um, two magma forges. I suppose we might as well put down the last two magma forges. Actually, I might save that for a clay kiln or something. I'll just leave that marked for now. I uh, wonder how we went on with our webbing forgotten beast. Oh, right. Oh. It's like our pig is unscathed. He's around here at the moment. Mind you, they might have come down and collected the webs. Oh, that's true too. On the other hand, he could have been fighting a jabberer up there. Oh yeah, there's a jabberer's mangled corpse immediately underneath him. <laughs> Oops. So let's have a look at this left wool mitten. The Furnace of Passages. This is a bulky llama wool left mitten, all craft dwarf shippers of the highest quality. It's encrusted with rectangular chrysoprase cabochons, decorated with llama wool and pig leather and encircled with bands of round, brilliant cut turquoises, percut chrysoprases and trillion cut red zircons. It's made from llama wool cloth. This object is adorned with hanging rings of hippo bone menaces with spikes of llama wool that's worth spikes a, of llama indeed wool. it's worth a reasonable amount well my fortress is open to the outside world oh race oh race trying to have a yeah race my weird beast trying to attend a meeting indeed 
Perhaps we can negotiate uh, my release, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and get rid of... I can't get rid of that monster hunter. I'm trying to get rid of the monster hunters. Go to Eagle Wheels. I'm just hanging around here drinking my beer. Not even telling poetry, not even dancing. Indeed. We'll send you away to Eagle Wheels. You can be Eagle Wheels' problem now. The, the monster hunters, they never ask to join your fortress. They just show up and yeah. hang out? Is that because, like, you have a chapel or, I'm sorry, a prayer place that's set to everywhere? Um, no, it's whenever you crack open the caverns, the monster hunters turn up. Yeah. Normally they petition to stay there, don't they? To eradicate monsters? Yeah, they do. And because I was having interesting times with the caverns, I thought, okay, maybe maybe this time it'd be useful to have some monster hunters. Uh, they uh -huh. stayed upstairs while my uh, while my dwarfs were downstairs. Of course, yeah. Oh. Somebody nearly got through to the dock because there's a beak leather back there. Is that a named weapon on the ground? <clears throat> uh, it's in a weapon trap. Oh, 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 okay. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here as well. Let's unforbid that one. We might as well use these bags. Um, don't forbid the tunic. I don't want them getting their hands on cloaks or hoods. Otherwise I'll have to make everything for everyone. I keep meaning to sell it when... Um, when some traders turn up. Okay, just leave the cloak and the hood forbidden. But yeah, that that bag's new. Forgotten beast is fighting a giant mole. I think the mole might win. <laughs> yeah, who died with those? I've no idea. I think your uh, fortress might be haunted. Indeed. Or should we just have like a elf just disappear and drop all their loot? Got big dogs trying to sneak in. Yeah, it's very strange. It suggests that <laughs> something managed to sneak past the um, the dogs on the surface. Yeah. Ian X put in another mandate, I think. Three amulets. Okay, make me some rock amulets. I only want three of them. You can make them out of... Uh, use up some of that anhydrite. Yeah, probably a goblin with all that beak dog leather, indeed. But yeah, the um, the death on this weapon trap is new. 
Very peculiar. Indeed. Uh, let's make sure that on the surface are my guard dogs in place. Yeah, I've got my... Now, it is possible for somebody with really good sneaking skills if all of the dogs are stood against one wall then they can sneak past the other wall because the dogs if someone's really good at sneaking the dogs can only see them if right. they are in the square next to the dog mm -hmm. any chance that the body jammed in the trap uh, it didn't there's nothing on that tile except for just that bag i think maybe i should get rid of some more pigs right dealt with you We've got... Oh, are we still real lizarding? No. Um. Oh, a piglet's been found dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, it actually fell down the hole. Oh. Oops. There's, um, there is a hole that it's fallen down the stairs, actually. Uh, there's also a piglet's hoof just there. Yeah, once in a while something will fall down the stairs. Um, because there's... I'll get round to fixing it one day. <laughs> but yeah, I was bringing my staircase down and I hit the road. And it was like, whoa, there's a road! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to fall through in, in Indeed. once in a while. It's yeah. like, yeah, 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 I'll sort that out sometime. <laughs> I'll get round to it. It's fine, it's fine. Once we get down to dealing with the, the cavern layer. And, you know, we're, we're working on this layer. We're, we're not too far off. If I got them to move these... These rocks, I could start channeling down and we could move down a layer. The tower grows. <laughs> I should unforbid that stuff in case they need it. There's also a bunch of bolts that have fallen through the roof. I've noticed that sometimes, um, well, actually quite frequently, when people are shooting things on the surface, uh, sometimes the bolts fall down through the roof. Oh yeah, that's true. got some forbidden rocks there as well we'll oops unforbid those in case they need them Right, let's see if we've got any more chains to put in the prison. They've had a little bit of time to work on them. Oh, poor Pinkerton. They got a nice statue to look at. <laughs> got a wood bucket with some water in it. Hmm, delicious. What are your thoughts? Feels guilty after being confined. Feels pleasure near a completely sublime restraint. Excellent. Oh. Pleasure near a fine bed. No, they're not doing too badly confined. Yeah. <laughs> not too bad. What about the statue? Have you, have you noticed the statue? Oh, we should make an engraving. Uh, Pinkerton. Reg. No mole fat. Okay. Uh, we need to do an engraving. We want to engrave. We'll put it under the chain because it was the first one. 
Uh, and then we want to... Hang on. I want to specify the image. I've forgotten how to do this. I know how to do it and I've forgotten how to do it. Let me just try doing it away from from the chain. Engrave for artwork. Um Do you think it's because you're trying to do it on top of a glass tile? I don't think so. It occurs to me that I haven't actually specified an image to be engraved since the Steam release. And now I'm wondering, can we still do that? Hmm. Question. Indeed. I'm just wondering if I've got the... the instructions somewhere else. I can't think where else it would be to specify the image. Zamalf's done it very specifically, so it can be done. Oh, through the work orders menu. Really? Work orders are things we can make. I know we can do statues. Like you can make a statue or a figurine or something like that, but I don't know if it would be an actual work order because you don't go in the details. Indeed. Yeah, there's nothing about engraving. Is it the task? There should be a task to engrave. Maybe I can pick the task to engrave up? Mm. Oh, we've got two patients. Oh no, I know that. Yeah, that's my two <laughs> weird beasts. Yeah. I just don't have it listed as a task. Let me just undo one of those first of all. I'll wait and see if somebody picks up the task. Oh, the dog came to pet Pinkerton. <laughs> Just wondering if... Did I place that down in blueprint mode? No, good. I know it usually looks blue, but for me, blues, greys and greens are all a little bit similar coloured. Right, yeah. Are you colourblind? There we go. Uh, a bit, yeah, I'm totally colourblind. <laughs> so I can see all of the primary colours, but blues, greens, greys, they all mm -hmm. kind of blend into each other a little. Makes sense. Right, detail floor. No, that just gives me the person. I was wondering if I could pick up the details of the task. Right. But, um, there's nothing... Oh, someone's collecting webs. Excellent. Oh, nice, yeah. Ah, okay. Pause the game, designate an engraving order, 
Cancel out of the designation mode with a right mouse click. Click on the tiles you designated for engraving. A window will pop up and give you the option to specify image. Yay, it didn't. That was kind of what I was expecting. Yeah, so I can't click on... So maybe it is because I'm trying to engrave a built floor. Can you do it to the Let's tile try. that's next to it? That's rough? Uh, it'd have to be a smooth tile to oh, try right. it with. Just wondering if I've got any smooth tiles anywhere else. Oh, yeah, I know where I've got some smooth tiles, just so I can test it. Um, here. Okay, so if I said engrave that wall, then click and out of it, and then... No, I still can't... I still can't select it. So pause the game, designate. Oh, hang on. Did I need to designate it? Okay, so while we can't. Ah, oh, that's uh... it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta designate it while it's invisible. Not because it's invisible, but before the game calculates it. And that makes sense. Yeah. Right, cool. And I have done this before. Right, specify hey, image. <laughs> your crime! <laughs> okay, so related to historical figure, and now I've forgotten her name. <laughs> Pinkerton, I don't remember the last name. I don't Sorry, with an R or something over there. Yeah, that's a, a nickname. Mm -hmm. Reg Nomalfad. Ah. Reg Nomalfad. Oh, no, I meant to do new figure. Um, hang on, let me cancel that. do it again because I'm not I'm never quite sure whether or not it's um, specify a new image whether or not it overwrites it properly right, right. historical figure we want Reg no Malfat and um Now, what can I do about the crime? An object. So it was probably an amulet. And an amulet. And, um, I know, I know, actually. I need to know my mare's name. Nish Gussid Atul. Nish Gussid Atul. Okay. So, we want something about Nish and the amulet. So what happened was Nish demanded an amulet 
and Reginald Nish. Now, how can we make that out of this? We can certainly have Nish being offended. If only there was one like where he was uh, berating him or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Reg is refusing Nish. We could have that. Refusing the amulet? Um, refusing the mayor. Oh, refusing the mayor. Yeah, that makes yeah. more sense. Do we have anything about... Oh, X is contemplating Y. Right. So, Nish is contemplating an amulet. And then, Nish... We haven't got anything about demanding. Yeah, sadly. But making a plaintive gesture... It's pretty vague enough for that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sort of making a plaintive gesture as sort of like the request. And then... Reg is refusing Nish. The mayor, yeah. Because we haven't got an ignore. <laughs> Sadly, yeah, yeah. That would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so I think refusing is and Nish looks offended. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> there we go. And there is the crime of Pinkerton. <laughs> we can't name Probably this you could title them. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> we can. Oh. Oh, but I can't just type it in unfortunately. Of course not, yeah. Mm. Um, we don't happen to have a mayor, do we? No. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll... Or mandate, I don't know. Yeah, we'll... I'll ignore that. If I can't make it something useful. Yeah. Right, done. Go and engrave that. The fortress is going well, thank you very much. I was hoping to bring some visitors in and have some trouble and start interrogating some people, but oh my god, it's been a bit of an action filled. <laughs> I say action filled, <laughs> I've been tinkering with stuff. It is engraved. Question from chat. You're looking for advice. You have an aquifer dripping from a layer above the layer you're digging into. Do you have to remove the layer above? You do, yes. So you need to dig it. At, you need to dig the layer above and smooth the walls above. Now, I think if the aquifer above that one drips into the floor above as long as you smooth the walls i don't think the pooling water will then drip through again a light aquifer you can probably ignore oh i don't know about that i mean rng described um rightfully i think a light aquifer as the slow killer because you ignore oh, yeah, it and then, you, <laughs> and then you turn you look back again it's like why is my fortress flooded why are there all these sevens at the bottom? What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dry season's here. The sl Yes, we've got our first lion cubs. <laughs> Excellent. And the mayor's got another mandate for us. Bolts. Oh, Two and more amulets. amulets. <laughs> more amulets. Okay. Rock amulets. And we just want two this time. 
make it out of make it out of that horn blend okay dealt with that dealt with that bunch of people fighting let's just make sure that's not another dead piglet down there nope that was the one we dealt with earlier right Pretty can i shame. <laughs> can i put in any more chains let's have a look and see if they've done any more You haven't decorated any. Okay, we'll hold on. Freedom! <laughs> no more incarceration for Pinkerton. Indeed. I think we'll get the mayor as uh, the guard's office engraved and start giving him what he needs. Nobody else has got what they need, <laughs> but we'll we'll sort out our captain of the guard. Yeah. So, what does he want? You want um, a study, a bedroom, a dining room. You want uh, a weapon rack and an armor stand, a chest and a cabinet. Well, I could start by making sure he's got a bedroom while they're working on that. Or at least I can work towards getting him a bedroom. I've got some empty bedroom spaces just above the graveyard. Okay, just looking to see how I did it last time. Yep, that'll be fine. So we'll make this into uh, his bedroom. <clears throat> It'd be like a waterfall and if the room it's dripping into is large enough, it'll evaporate faster than it fills. Well, if it's coming from the ceiling, if the room below is large enough, then the room that the ceiling is also large, so you've got more aquifer dripping in. I'd rather just not risk it. Aquifers mm. are trouble. Yeah, if you dig out the room and then dig out the aquifer layer, doesn't matter if it's leaking down from the layer above that. Just get the walls smooth so it's not pouring through the walls. Yeah. The age before light aquifers when we just had normal aquifers oh, was boy. terrible. <laughs> I was so tired of digging plugs mm. and just dropping them in and hoping for the best. K9 Pepper says, I had a 20 by 20 room that was filling pretty fast. You removed the layer above and it stopped though, so thanks. You're very welcome. Right, dwarfs. Get that bedroom engraved. Let's have a look at the guard's room.
Right, we are going to want... I love how shiny this looks when it's engraved. Yeah. It looks pretty dull when it's uh, just down as a block floor, but it looks really shiny once it's engraved. Yeah. He's going to need... Um, I think he needed a table and chair, didn't he? A dining room, yeah. And an office. Yeah, it needs a study. So we'll give him a, a table and chair. I'll put his table and chair over here. You know, you can have these siltstone thrones and things that we've got. Because they, they do look quite nice. Siltstone table. Do you, Did I ever make any... Um, weapon racks or... Is that not under furniture? Uh, military. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've made any. Weapon rack? No. Okay. Darn. About time I, I did then. <laughs> Let's make some... How about some platinum? Ooh, fancy. Platinum weapon racks. Uh, make me ten of those. Platinum... Plati platinum... Platinum... <laughs> armor stand. Make me ten of those. I'll unpause it so things happen. <laughs> I always catch myself doing the exact same thing. Mm. Okay, and this is going to be an office now. Accept. And you are going to be the office of Mel, the captain of the guard. I immediately drops a sock in the room. Oh, is this the dwarfs? It is. Okay, we've got the dwarven caravan arrived. And the outpost liaison. And Enek has put a ban on the export of buckets. That's fine. Alright, before I move away, have we got any more chains? I suppose I could just put down any old chains. Oh no, we've got, okay, we've got some decorated ones. Better than nothing, I suppose. Did you make any fine quality ones? No, dreadful. Okay. Well, Need more practice. Yeah, indeed. They haven't done any blacksmithing. They're good weaponsmiths. Forgotten beasts fighting a bunch of crundles. Right, uh, we need to trade again. Right, dwarfs, come and move some goods. I should really set those to be melted. Yeah. Take the amulets, even though we're not going to sell them. We've got some worn out dresses. Llama wool dresses are all the fashion around here. Of course. <laughs> uh, take the bracelet.
with the earrings of the figurine. Get rid of those. Cougar leather shoes. <laughs> Amazing. Any worn out socks? Oh, there's a pair. Looks like we're good for socks. Some worn out gloves. We'll get rid of those gloves there. They're not particularly good. Oh, yes, and the artifact glove. <clears throat> <clears throat> Definitely want to sell that. Some worn out pants. Take the ring, the scepter, take all these wonderful knickknacks, take them. <laughs> yeah, you just tap, you can have them, you can have them, we don't want them. We stole them from the elves accidentally. <laughs> okay, yeah, that should do. Um. Have we got any other artifacts I need to get rid of? That's a weapon, it's in a trap. That's a weapon, it's in a trap. The chain, the floodgate, the statue. No, we're good. Uh, when you're making lots of crafts and you have lots of dwarfs who want to acquire something, do you make dwarfs bring them one at a time to the depot? Yes. Uh, it's not that they won't pick them out of bins. It's that it's when they put them in a stockpile that they're most likely to pick something up. So I have a craft stockpile next to... <clears throat> uh, next to the depot. Uh, which they can drop the stuff on, off in. Um, and that way I take them to and from the trade depot. And when they put them back in the stockpile, that's when they're most likely to acquire them. But I don't allow any bins in the, uh, the craft stockpile. Let's get the broker to the depot. Did I, did I tell him, it feels like, did I not tell him to bring the stuff? Oh no, the, yeah. Feels like they brought stuff very quickly. These doors have been working out. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, if you're moving crafts to the stockpile in a bin, then one dwarf can move all the crafts so there's only one dwarf goes to the stockpile but if you have 30 crafts going to the stockpile individually then that's 30 opportunities for the dwarf to for any of the dwarfs to pick up an item
No, Enoch, get up to the depot. We got some trading to do. We have. I think the last traders just arrived as well. Okay, let's see if we can trade. Not quite. Usually you can see the pack animals still have something loaded on them. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Right, if we sell everything, which we can't because the amulets I'd rather take back. And the amulets are worth like nothing anyway. That would give us 19,000. So first of all, what fancy books have we got? If we buy all your books, and what scrolls have we got? Introduction to trade, after levers, exploration of minerals, the true crucible, choose the moon, records of the wedge of locks, the surveying staff in the universe, the light of day came full circle, and the world of dissection. We'll buy those. I love the titles in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take your logs. A bobbit. <laughs> I really like the uh, a bobbit and a shove it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the names of the instruments in this particular world just tickle me. They should have brought some bins for me. Ah, there we go. How much do your bins cost? Uh, fairly expensive, so there should be a lot of stuff in there. That's good. The next thing that I want to look at then is your bars. If I buy all of your bars, yeah, I'll buy all of those. It's only really iron that I wouldn't pay for. Have you got any fancy blocks? Nope. I don't really fancy buying just individual blocks because it clutters my build menu. Uh, different if it's a really expensive one like aluminium or something. Difficult for me to lay my hands on. Yeah. Alright, what else might we want to buy? of good on meat. I'll buy the thread. Actually, wow, they must have brought a lot of thread. Well, if I buy that, it should still be ecstatic. That'll do. Right, trade. Yes, he's ecstatic. Excellent. Okay, we're done. Enoch, go cause trouble somewhere else. Hmm. Store and forbid them till I've got a project. They won't show from the menus. Um, they're still just like odds 
odds and sods of blocks though. Like not not enough to build something out of and I probably forget they were there as well. <laughs> All right, dwarfs, you can go and engrave a bit more of that now as well. Oops. Okay, let's have a look at how the justice system's getting on. Um, I was hoping to bring some visitors in to cause some trouble, but I've just noticed the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Dwarf Fortress be. It is, it is. <laughs> Um, let's see if we can get a weapon rack put down for him at least. Military weapon rack. Platinum. Yeah, they're they're pretty poor quality, but we'll put one. Yeah. There. And an armor stand. That's a bit better. Have we got any more ropes? Chains? Oh, we've got one decorated one. The they get into them just slowly but surely. Yeah, they'll get there eventually. And I'll make sure that, yeah, they're already marked as a dungeon. Oh, right, but, well, gosh. <laughs> Um, we're going to have to leave it here because time has flown by. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. It's that store fortress for you. Uh, well, at least we managed to get somebody imprisoned and have a look to see what, like, how the... We didn't get to interrogate anybody, but at least we got to see what happened when somebody was arrested. Yeah, um, you ignore a mandate, that's what happens. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> So, um, looks like chat enjoyed it anyway. 